As you mentioned, a big part of moving on from the Sterling era was selling the team to Steve Ballmer, and Ballmer wants a new arena in the nearby mm -hmm. Inglewood, California. Uh, he's also entertained the idea of changing the name of the team, Ramona. Yep. How seriously are they uh, considering a full rebrand? Uh, so I think the stadium is Steve Ballmer's rebrand. Like this is, and, and this is what I think is uh, like just this fascinating parallel between Donald Sterling and Jerry Buss, who the late owner of the Lakers, where when Jerry Buss bought the Lakers, he sold all of his real estate assets and he became an owner where the, the Lakers were his primary source of income. He had to get really good at the business of basketball. That's what Steve Ballmer's trying to do with the Clippers now. Like he's, he sees the stadium as the stadium to end all stadiums. It's like the greatest melding of technology and stadiums and, and arena experience that there ever could be, right? That's the kind of stuff Jerry Buss did. That's the kind of vision that Jerry Buss had when he first bought the Lakers. Like we, we look back on this now and stuff that we assume is this is just like standard course of business in the NBA. Naming rights, like the, the Great Western Forum, he made money on that. The Senate seats, like having having the Forum Club, having the Laker girls, having an in-house band, even down to the lighting, uh, ticket pricing where it costs more to sit in certain areas. And he he kind of understood that. When you got celebrities to sit on sit courtside, like it added a Hollywood element to your franchise that nobody else had. And like the Clippers played at the sports arena where nobody wanted to go to. They would literally advertise the opposing team coming to town to try to sell tickets. Thank God they had Ralph Lawler, mm -hmm. okay, to draw everybody into the broadcast. But you, you couldn't pick two more different owners, and yet they came from such similar backstories, mm -hmm. right? They. Jerry Butler, both self-made men. Donald Sterling is a was a his father was a junk peddler in, in East LA and grew up poor and he made himself into a real estate mogul. Jerry Buss grows up poor in Wyoming, puts himself through college and gets a, a doctorate in chemistry, then becomes a real estate mogul. Like they they're the same guy and yet they did everything so differently. And, and I think when you're we're talking about the changing of the name, I think if we, if you ask the people in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. When we moved in 2012 from New Jersey yeah. to Brooklyn, we did everything but. We changed the colors, we changed the logo, but we still kept the Nets name. And I think if, if you ask the people who were behind the scenes, mm -hmm. they would do, have a do-over as far as the name mm -hmm. change there. Huh. And just kind of wipe the slate clean. And I know the banners from New Jersey yeah. are up in that up in Barclays Center, um, but I just think it gives you a different identity. And if you're the Clippers and if this new arena does come to, to, to uh, play in Inglewood, I think that's something that you you can seriously consider doing. I, see, I feel like there's a real power in kind of reforming the name. And because it's amazing, you know, Ramona, just this is not that of a distant past no. that Donald Sterling yeah. owned the team. And now the Clippers are a franchise that are kind of seen as one of the model organizations mm -hmm. in the NBA. And that took an ownership change and basically an overhaul of the entire team. But I think that there's something to be said for taking that Clippers brand. And while they have yeah. adjusted the, the logos to some degree, but taking that and saying, this is what it was and this is what it now is. And so I think, to me, I feel like there's a power in, in really redeeming. I, I do too, actually. I, I go back and forth on it, but I, I, I can talk myself into both, uh, both points of view. Um, but like the, when you get back to this arena, and I know how important this is to the Clippers and to Steve Ballmer and his vision, um, you also have to understand the history of, their, of why they're at Staples Center in the first place. Um, which we cover a bit in the podcast, but it's, you know, the Staples Center was the, really the LA Kings idea first. And when the Kings wanted to develop it, they wanted an NBA team to partner with. The Lakers had a deal down in Inglewood at the Forum, and they were happy there. They didn't want to go. And so they approached Donald Sterling with the Clippers to be the co-tenant at Staples. But Donald, you know, kind of didn't jump on board right away. He wanted to, he wanted, didn't see the vision in it. He was fine at the sports arena. And he was being courted by Anaheim at the Anaheim Pond to the point where he even had a press conference scheduled because they were giving, they were, this was going to happen. This was this is how far down the road they had gone with this. Um, in the meantime, the Staples Center builders, the Kings and, and everybody else involved in it said, well, we, if the Clippers aren't going to do this, we'll go to the Lakers. So the Lakers then sell a little piece of their franchise to AEG as, as a part of this deal and they move to Staples Center. Um, and they're, it's going to be the Kings and the Lakers. And at the last minute, Donald Sterling decides Nope, I'm not going to go to Anaheim because it's just too far. I don't want to go to Anaheim. He's a real estate guy. Location matters. Okay, Anaheim's not Beverly Hills. It's not L.A. And decides, I want to get on that uh, Staples Center design right. anyway. And then he falls into third yeah, place and third takes place. another L, which, <laughs> which really is Small defined is all of yep. uh, Donald Sterling's era yeah. is, is the Clippers. I think the biggest rebranding the Clippers can do is move to winners and yeah. move to uh, champions. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. 
For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.